Hello, my dear students. So today we are going to understand double circulation with respect to circulatory system. Since it's going to consume a lot of time, if I draw the diagram and then start explaining. So that is the reason I have already prepared a diagrammatic illustration on the whiteboard. And now I shall explain double circulation. So let us first try to understand what does double circulation refer to. Double circulation means the flow of blood in the heart two times before the blood gets circulated in the entire body to complete one circulation. This concept of the flow of blood inside the heart twice in order to complete one circulation throughout the body is referred to as double circulation. So now let us try to understand how this double circulation takes place. Before I explain the double circulation with the diagrammatic illustration out here, I would like to pinpoint certain things that are there labeled on this particular diagrammatic illustration. So, number one, I shall talk about the major blood vessels that enters and leaves the heart. So, the number one blood vessel, which is one of the major blood vessel that is connected to the heart is the pulmonary artery. So number one that is labeled out here is a pulmonary artery. This blood vessel carries the blood from the heart to the lungs. So that was number one pulmonary artery. Another major blood vessels that enter the heart okay, is pulmonary veins or pulmonary vein. This blood vessel brings the blood from the lungs and drains it into the heart. So that is number two, pulmonary vein. Number three, that is the aorta. The aorta is one of the major blood vessels that comes out of the heart and takes away the blood to the different parts of the body. So number three is aorta. Then we come to another major blood vessel, which is called the vena cava. This blood vessel brings blood from the different parts of the body and then drains the blood into the heart. So that was the major blood vessels. These major blood vessels are important because we will try to understand double circulation with reference to this major blood vessel and the blood flow through these major blood vessels. So now let us try to understand what is double circulation. As I told you in the very beginning, it is two circulation that is seen within the heart in order to complete one circulation of blood flow throughout the body. So how does this happen? Let's see. The first kind of circulation is called the permillary circulation. The term permillary makes a reference to the lungs. So the first kind of circulation is called permillary circulation and this is conducted by permillary circuit. Now, what is the included part of this pulmonary circuit? It includes the flow of blood from the heart to the lungs and from the lungs back to the heart. So, this completes pulmonary circulation. The other kind of circulation that takes place is called the systemic circulation. Here also, we find that the blood is flowing from the heart, but this time it flows into the body. That is the different organs 
and the organ systems that we have in the body, the blood flows from the heart to these systems. And ultimately, from the different systems of the body, once again, the blood is taken back to the heart. So therefore, we see there are two circulations taking place. One is the pulmonary circulation and the other one is called the systemic circulation. And this two circulation actually makes one complete circulation of blood in the body. This is referred to as double circulation. So now let us see how this takes place. Now the body brings the blood into the veins. Ultimately, the vena cava is the main vein that takes away the blood from the body and then pours it or drains it into the heart. And which side of the heart? The right side of the heart. As you can see in the diagram that the blood that is collected by this blood vessel called vena cava is ultimately draining the blood into the right side of the heart. So this is the right auricle and this is the right ventricle. So as soon as the blood comes into the heart, the blood is squeezed out of the heart. And this particular chamber of the heart, that is the left chamber, auricle, that is right auricle as well as right ventricle, receives deoxygenated blood. So this blood has to be oxygenated. So the blood that is received by the right side of the heart ultimately is pumped into the pulmonary artery. And this pulmonary artery takes the blood for oxygenation in the lungs. So oxygenation is taking place in the lungs. So when oxygenation is complete, the blood once again is taken away from the lungs back into the heart. But this time, the blood is drained into the left side of the heart. That is the left auricle and from the left auricle to the left ventricle. So if we see the flow of blood from the right side of the heart enters into the pulmonary artery, goes into the lungs and then once again comes back to the left side of the heart. So this completes one full circulation of blood from the heart to the outside of the heart and back into the heart once again. This is called the pulmonary circuit and the flow of blood in this pulmonary circuit is called pulmonary circulation. Now what happens in the systemic circulation and in the systemic circuit? Let's see. When the oxygenated blood comes to the left side of the heart, ultimately the blood gets into the left ventricle. And the left ventricle pumps the blood into one of the major artery called the aorta. So this is the aorta. This aorta takes away the oxygenated blood from the heart and distributes it to the different organ of the body. When that blood goes to the different parts of the body, once again, the blood has to be recirculated into the heart because once the blood goes into the different parts of the body, there is exchange of gases taking place at the tissue level. And what happens to the blood that is flowing in the body or the different organ system? The different organ system takes away oxygen and then pours carbon dioxide into the blood that is circulating. So this blood once again laden with carbon dioxide will be taken back to the heart by the 
Vina Cava. So here we see once again, the blood is entering into the right side of the heart. This flow of blood from the heart to the different parts of the body and then from the different parts of the body back into the heart is systemic circulation and this is brought about by the systemic circuit where we see the blood is flowing from the heart to the different parts of the body and from different parts of the body once again the blood is brought back to the heart. So this gives us an understanding of what is double circulation. And if you observe this diagrammatic illustration carefully, you will find that I have used different colors to show the flow of blood. The reason is the blue color that is shown out here, which shows arrows flowing of blood. And this blue color signifies deoxygenated blood. That means the blood that is flowing from the body into the heart is deoxygenated. This deoxygenated blood has to go into the lungs for oxygenation. And you see the other blood vessels, okay, having the arrows with red color. This shows these are the blood that is flowing in these blood vessels, which is oxygenated. If you observe, once again, there are two other colors used for the arrows that are moving in this circulation. One of them is black in color. This black arrows that are shown in the diagram, for example, here we see the black arrow, here we see the black arrow, here, 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 here. This particular movement of blood is actually pulmonary circulation. Likewise, if you see, there are green arrows that also resembles the movement of the blood, that is the circulation of the blood. These green arrow signifies systemic circulation. So, this was in brief the concept of double circulation. Thank you.